Pinyaka is a multiple rocket launcher produced in India and developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, for the Indian Army. The system has a maximum range of 40 km for Mark I and 75 km for Mark II, and can fire a salvo of 12 HE rockets in 44 seconds. The system is mounted on a Tatra truck for mobility. Pinyaka saw service during the Kargil War where it was successful in neutralizing enemy positions on the mountain tops. It has since been inducted into the Indian Army in large numbers. As of 2014, about 5,000 missiles are being produced every year while an advanced variant is under development with enhanced range and accuracy. Development The Indian Army operates the Russian BM-21 Grad launchers. In 1981, in response to the Indian Army's need for a long-range artillery system, the Indian Ministry of Defence sanctioned two confidence-building projects. In July 1983, the Army formulated their General Staff Qualitative Requirement GSQR, for the system, with planned induction of one regiment per year from 1994 onwards. This system would eventually replace the grads. Development began in December 1986 with a sanctioned budget of 26.47 crore. The development was to be completed in December 1992. Armament Research and Development Establishment, a pun-based DRDO laboratory, led the development of the system. Details Pinyaka is a complete MBRL system, each Pinyaka battery consists of, six launcher vehicles, each with 12 rockets, six loader replenishment vehicles, three replenishment vehicles, two command post vehicle, one standby, with a fire control computer, and the DG Quorum Met radar. A battery of six launchers can neutralize an area of 1000 m times 800 m. The Army generally deploys a battery that has a total of 72 rockets. All the 72 rockets can be fired in 44 seconds, taking out an area of one square kilometer. Each launcher can fire in a different direction too. The system has the flexibility to fire all the rockets in one go or only a few. This is made possible with a fire control computer. There is a command post linking together all the six launchers in a battery. Each launcher has an individual computer, which enables it to function autonomously in case it gets separated from the other five vehicles in a war. KJ Daniel, Project Director, Pinyaka calls it a system and explains how massive each system is. A Pinyaka battery has six launchers, six loader vehicles, six replenishment vehicles, two vehicles for ferrying the command post and a vehicle for carrying the meteorological radar, which will provide data on winds. Modes of operation The launcher can operate in the following modes. Autonomous mode The launcher is fully controlled by a fire control computer, FCC. The microprocessor on the launcher automatically executes the commands received from the FCC, giving the operator the status of the system on displays and indicators. Standalone mode, in this mode, the launcher is not linked to the FCC operator, and the operator at the console enters all the commands for laying of the launcher system and selection of firing parameters. Remote mode, in this mode. A remote control unit carried outside the cabin up to a distance of about 200 m can be used to control the launcher system, the launcher site and to unload the fired rocket pods from the launcher. Manual mode, all launcher operations including laying of the system and firing are manually controlled. This mode is envisaged in the situations where the microprocessor fails or where there is no power to activate the microprocessor based operator's console. The Pinyaka was tested in the Kargil conflict and proved its effectiveness. Since then it has been inducted into the Indian Army and series production has been ordered. The Pinyaka MBRL is stated to be cheaper than other systems. It costs 2.3 crore, 350,000 US dollars, per system compared to the M270 which costs 19.5 crore, 3.0 million US dollars. Salient Features Use of state-of-the-art technologies for improved combat performance. Total operational time optimized for shoot and scoot capability. Cabin pressurization for crew protection in addition to blast shields. Microprocessor-based fully automatic positioning and fire control console. 
Night vision devices for driver and crew. Neutralization slash destruction of the exposed troop concentrations, B vehicles and other such soft targets. Neutralization of enemy guns slash rocket locations. Laying of anti-personnel and anti-tank mines at a short notice. Orders. The Pinyaka project has been a significant success for the DRDO and its development partners in developing and delivering a state-of-the-art, high-value project to the Indian Army's demanding specifications. Whilst DRDO was responsible for the overall design and development, its partners played a significant role in developing important subsystems and components. They include Tata Power COLTD Strategic Electronic Division, Tata Power said, and Larson and Tabro LTD to state-owned Ordnance Factories Board, for the rockets as well as other private and public firms. The first Pinyaka Regiment was raised on February 2000. Each regiment consists of three batteries of six Pinyakas each, plus reserves. On March 29, 2006, the Indian Army awarded Tata Power said and Larson and Tabro's Heavy Engineering Division a contract worth 200 crore. 31 million US dollars, to produce 40 Pinyaka MBRLs each. Tata Power said declared that it would be delivering the first units within six months. The Indian Army has placed an intent for Pinyaka weapon system worth 1,300 crores. On October 29, 2015, the Defence Acquisition Council chaired by the Defence Minister of India, cleared purchase of two more Pinyaka regiments at a cost of 3,300 crore. 510 million US dollars. On March 18, 2016, the Cabinet Committee on Security, CCS, cleared the purchase of two additional Pinyaka regiments. To supplement the earlier four regiments, an order for additional six regiments was cleared by the Defence Acquisition Council on November 7, 2016. Deployment the Pinyaka will be operated in conjunction with the Indian Army's Firefinder radars and indigenously developed Bell Weapon Locating Radar of which 28 are on order. The Indian Army is networking all its artillery units together with the DRDO's Artillery Command and Control System, ACCS, which acts as a force multiplier. The ACCS is now in series production. The Pinyaka units will also be able to make use of the Indian Army's SADA. Surveillance and Target Acquisition, units which have been improved substantially throughout the late 1990s, with the induction of the Searcher 1, Searcher 2 and IAI Heron UAVs into the Indian Army, as well as the purchase of a large number of both Israeli-made and Indian-made battlefield surveillance radars. These have also been coupled with purchases of the Israeli LOROS, Long Range Observation and Sighting System which is a combination of FLIR-CCD system for long-range day-slash-night surveillance. Presently, two regiments of Pinyaka have now been inducted by the Army, an additional two are on order and the MOD has cleared a RFP for six more regiments. The Indian Army has plans to operate a total of 10 regiments by 2022 and increase this to 22 within the next 10 years as the older Grad MLRS regiments are retired. MK2 Development Pinyaka 2, also called Guided Pinyaka, is being developed by Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE, PUN, Research Center Imara, RCI, Hyderabad and Defense Research and Development Laboratory, DRDL, Hyderabad. The Mark II version is equipped with a navigation, guidance, control kit and has considerably enhanced the range and accuracy of the missile. The accuracy of the missile is estimated to be between 6.0 m 8.0 m at all ranges. It was successfully tested at the Shandapur test range in January 2013, and on December 20, 2013. On 2023 May 2016, four rounds of the Pinyaka Mk2 were successfully fired from the test range of Proof and Experimental Establishment, PXE, at Shandapur on sea for testing a new guidance system. On January 12, 2017 and January 24, 2017, two successful tests was conducted with range of 65 km and 75 km respectively from Launch Complex 3, Integrated Test Range, Shandapur. Future Plans The Pinyaka is in the process of further improvement. 
Israel military industries teamed up with DRDO to implement its trajectory correction system, TCS, on the Pinyaka, for further improvement of its SEP. This has been trialed and has shown excellent results. The rockets can also be guided by GPS to improve their accuracy. A wraparound microstrip antenna has been developed by DRDO for this system. While the Pinyaka will not be developed further into a larger system, its success and the experience gained from the program has led the ARDA and its partner organizations to launch a project to develop a long range MRL similar to the Smirch MLRS. A 7.2 meter rocket for the Pinyaka MBRL, which can reach a distance of 120 km and carry a 250 kg payload, will be developed. These new rockets can be fired in 44 seconds have a maximum speed of Mach 4.7, rise to an altitude of 40 km before hitting its target at Mach 1.8. Integrating UAVs with the Pinyaka is also in the pipeline, as DRDO intends to install guidance systems on these rockets to increase their accuracy. Sagem completed delivery of its Sigma-30 laser gyro artillery navigation and pointing system to be equipped with the Pinyaka multiple launch rocket system in June 2010. The Sigma-30 artillery navigation and pointing system is designed for high-precision firing at short notice. Pinyaka Type Rocket Artillery Place of Origin India Service History Used by Indian Army Wars Kargil War Production History Designer DRDO Designed 1986 Manufacturer Tata Power said Larson and Tibro Ordnance Factories Board Unit cost $580,000 Produced 1998, present Variance 40 km, 25 miles, MKI 75 km, 47 miles, MK2 120 km, 75 miles In development Specifications Caliber 214 mm, 8.4 in. Barrels 12. Rate of fire rockets, 12 in 44 s. Maximum firing range 75 km, 47 miles. Warhead weight up to 250 kg, 550 pounds. Engine diesel. Speed launcher, 80 km per hour, 50 miles per hour. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.